two kinds of research. Please write it down. Two kinds of research. Primary research and secondary research. Primary research and secondary research. Primary research and secondary research. Primary research is when you are searching something for the first time. When it's your project, you are finding an answer. It's your project, something that has not been done by anyone, something that is new, something that is new for everyone. Like Albert Einstein, he used to invent things, right? He used to, edit, Thomas Edison, he used to invent things. Albert Einstein used to invent the formulas, so used to invent the ideas. So he was a, a primary researcher and uh, Th Thomas Edison was a primary researcher. Tesla was a primary researcher. Tesla, Tesla is way more influential than, uh, than, than Edison. If you read the history, you will find out what I'm talking about. Actually, there was Tesla who, who is the main mind and people don't know much about Tesla, people know about Edison. So you need to read about Tesla, you will find out who Tesla was. Okay, so now uh, let's let's begin. So primary research is when you are an inventor, you are a discoverer. And secondary researcher is when you are doing somebody else's project or you're expanding somebody else's research, something that is new only for you, something that is new only for you, something that is new only for you. Other people know this, but something that is new only for you, that is secondary research. When you are conducting somebody else's project or you're writing a systematic review, traditional review, that's secondary research. And which research is powerful both? And which of these research will you do for the rest of your life? Primary research or secondary research? What do you guys think? Please type and let me know. I have a question now. Type and let me know. Which of these research will you conduct in your life primary research or secondary research in primary research you invent things in secondary research you study already invented things so will you do primary research or you will do secondary research will you be studying other people's studies or will you be able to invent things very good akhil very good both and very good. Um, who is Lucy? Uh, Anirudh. Anirudh. Okay, Anirudh, very good. So yes, you can do primary research and you can do secondary research as well. Remember, you don't have to uh, think that always all the time like, oh, yeah, I have to only work on other people's research. I cannot invent anything. No, this is a mental block. Take this mental block away. People who invented things were people like you. They were human beings like you. People who discovered things were people like you, were, were people, simple people like you. And I have I know so many people who have invented things and they filed a patent and they do it all the time. You, do, you see researchers who are actually businessmen as well and who are looking for fundings. And in the, in the TV shows like Shark Tank, in, in the TV show Shark Tank, anyone has seen Shark Tank? They go to the investors and they ask for money that this is what we have invented and we want to have this thing in the market. We just need funding from you. So they're looking for fundings from investors and then investors become their business partner. That's what exactly how they, they do it. So now in this Shark Tank show, we think that they are businessmen, but no, they are businessmen, but they are researcher scientists. And that's how Tesla started. That's how Edison started. Tesla, he presented his idea of the DC current and he started looking for investors. And he found the investor. Same with Edison. When he discovered the AC current, he was looking for investors, right? So scientists... The businessmen who are discovering things and they file patents, they are actually scientists and they have discovered things. So remember, you can do both. And uh, somebody said, um, Sah uh, Sahar from Egypt said, I will start with secondary and one day I can do primary. Absolutely, very good, very good. But always think that yes, you can do primary research, Aparajita, yes, secondary and then primary, very good. but. Take this thing out of your mind that you will not be able to discover things. You will not be able to, able to invent things. 
you will be able to invent things. I'm telling you, one day you will invent a medication. One day you will invent a surgical procedure. One day you will invent a surgery um, guideline or something like that, or a surgical operation. One day you will invent some kind of treatment. You will discover some kind of treatment. And one of you one day will be given the Nobel Prize. This is how it happens. People who got Nobel Prizes, they were people like you. They were human beings like you. They just started to think and they knew that they can invent things. They started to believe that, yes, we can invent. We can invent. And on invention, people will laugh. You know, your inventions could be funny. It's okay. Let them laugh. Get ideas. Let, let the funny ideas come in and keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. I saw uh, in 1998 or 99, that's the story of 1999, on a TV show, I saw that it was a Pakistani kid. He was not even a full engineer. He was, an, he was a student, pre-engineering student, I guess. And he invented cane, a cane for, bl for blind people that whenever it used to touch water or touch any object, something like that, it used to, uh, an alarm used to go off. So it was a help for blind people. I think mainly water. When there was water, uh, it could detect water. And he was not even not even an engineering graduate. So see, young kids do it. Young kids do it. There are so many students in India who have discovered things without being without even even being a graduate. They have filed patents. People, genius people all around the world, Bangladesh, Middle East, UK, Canada, those kids, they believe that, yes, we can invent things. So, yes, you can invent things. Remember, change this mindset and start thinking of ideas. What, what can I invent? Can I invent a treatment? Can I invent a surgical procedure? Can I invent a medication? Can I invent uh, an injection? Can I invent a vaccine? COVID, Omicron, can I invent this vaccine? Maybe I get an idea from the from already existent, uh, from already uh, present vaccine. So somebody who discovered the vaccine, he believed that I can I can invent something, right? So if that person can do it, you can do it.